road signs, road construction, I'm thinking stop sign, slow sign, caution, one way, detour, all of them. I like them. I right? like them. Yeah. Can I just tell you that one time I had this really bad pothole in my neighborhood mm -hmm. and they actually put a little construction sign there and uh, I didn't follow it. Got a flat tire. Nice. Yeah, it's important to follow those road signs, right? Absolutely is. Yes. Absolutely. So, the one, if I'm being honest, I know stop signs are really, really important. Mm -hmm. I actually think the most important signs are the one-way signs. Have you seen those? Mm -hmm. Those black and white ones? Yes. I, have you ever gone the wrong way down the one way before? Guilty. Yeah, same. Yeah. It's a bad deal. It gets real dangerous real quick. Yeah, it's bad. So, a lot of times, those detour signs that we see, it's when there's road construction. They actually tell us, like, you can't go this way right now. I know this is the shortest way. I know this is the best way. But you're actually going to have to take a turn, maybe go through a neighborhood, so you can get back on track. Oh, that makes sense. But, I mean, detour signs are cool. I mean, they can help you whenever you're in a gym, whenever you're driving. But what about spiritually? Like, you don't want to, you know, there's no detour signs when it comes to going to heaven. Great point. No, there are no detour signs when it comes to going to heaven. There's no almost way. There's no, this is a little bit longer, but it'll work almost as good. Nothing like that. There is one way to heaven. And you know who that's through, Pastor Chris. It's through Jesus. That's right. That's there right. is only one way to the kingdom of God. It is through Jesus. In fact, Jesus was talking to his disciples uh, when they were in the upper room. He was about to go die on the cross, but they didn't know this yet. And so what he said was, hey guys, I'm actually going to go somewhere, and you're not going to be able to come with me for a little while. Yeah. Peter, not a fan of that. Peter said to Jesus, no, 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 Jesus, I don't care where you're going, I'm going with you, even if it means I have to die with you. Wait a minute, the same Peter who just a couple of hours later is like, I don't know that guy, you're crazy, you don't know what you're talking about, that same Peter. Yeah, and it was like five hours later, it was okay. very short. Leave it to Peter. Yeah, right? So then Jesus is talking to everybody else, including Peter all of his disciples, and he says that he is preparing a place for us. Oh, John chapter 14. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. It's John chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. Yeah, that's right. You heard that one before? I have. Actually, I tried to memorize it whenever I was in elementary school. Impressive. And it talks about how uh, uh, there's, that he's going to prepare a place for us, and if he goes, he will come again yep. and receive us to himself. Yep. And uh, where he is, there we can be also. Yep. He's talking about heaven. That's right. And it ends with uh, kind of verse 6 there where he says, yep. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Yep. And no one comes to the Father except through me. One way. One way. That's right. So think about it. When it comes to Jesus preparing rooms for us, mm -hmm. that is a pretty um, incredible idea. That Jesus is going to go away. He's going to go to heaven. He's going to go and prepare a place so we can have eternal life. That is so cool. You know what I think about when I think about that? What? It took God only six days to create everything. Mm -hmm. He spent the last 2,000 years making a mansion for us. That sounds pretty awesome. It's going to be an awesome house. That is going to be an awesome place. We definitely want to be there. But you know why it's going to be the best? What? Because Jesus is there. Absolutely. Yeah. So, kids, remember, there is no detour. There's no another way. There's no almost way. There is one way to spend eternity with God, and that's through His Son, Jesus, and the sacrifice that He made for us. We're going to talk a little bit more about that this week, so make sure you join us again tomorrow, same time, same place. We'll see you then. Bye, guys.